Welcome back to the Skull's Hand, says Creaser. Welcome back to the Skull's Hand, says I. So we're collecting shiny pebbles. We know what we're collecting shiny pebbles for now. Okay. I do wonder if there's more shiny pebbles to be had in here or not, or whether they I'm supposed to have found them all before. If eight, we're looking for, I don't know, plus, I lost count, but it feels like between 15 and 20. Right, that's where I came in from, I see. <sighs> oh, don't want to get spotted. Well, it doesn't, doesn't look like I can get in there. Maybe. Oh, there was that. There was that uh, kind of basementy entrance, wasn't there? That's where I came in from the mines. Right, and then there's a gap in here which takes us into the basement. Yeah. Okay. Prisoners in here, I guess. What are we doing? We've got nine water arrows. Come on now, come on! Guards! Back up! Here! That was terrible! Look under the stairs. Hello, anyone there? Just not. <laughs> I saw an intruder earlier. Stay sharp. Any way to open these cells? So, have a care not to open solitary, least ways till we can find some sanctified water. That tougher worm didn't last long, when Driscus got through with his thumb screws, but the poor bastard can't even die right. Half rations for Fingal after he spat in my face, and I took one of his fingers for his cheek. He and the others have been quiet since, say, tolling the holler in as usual, but not even Driscus could save that one's balance. No word yet on getting the hole out, SKP made repaired. It still beats me how he managed to obtain such a quantity of black powder from within his cell. One less mouth to feed at any rate. Okay, so we've got now solitary, I guess. Uh, that's west. We've got three west, three west, one on the inside, one north. We get dramatic chords again. I think he got stuck somewhere. You're gonna get slaughtered. <laughs> A yard of pain for you. Oh! <laughs> Was that supposed to hurt? Whoops! <laughs> no, I'm gonna get slaughtered. 
Oh, all right. Well, I did not put save. Well, we can make this quicker anyway, <clears throat> and avoid losing some of our precious, precious health by being a little careful on the drop down there. A little more than I was. I didn't realize what's that far down. Killed again. I am doing very well in this game. Very well. I, I'm a, I'm a professional, like Benny, but more professional. Such time, any loot on the stairs this time? No. Just me walking around up there. Leave the cells closed until such time as we've got guards enough to put in them. Because I'm gonna accumulate. accumulate I, I, I do words well. I threw dirt on the faces of his guards. In the inn, and I want to do the same here. <coughs> I'm gonna knock them all out and throw them in the cells. Maybe I'll throw Lord Albert himself in solitary. Hello. Somebody's going up and down the stairs here. Or maybe I could lock them all in solitary with the zombie, that would be funny. Or maybe he's not going up and down the stairs, maybe he's just coming, coming to and fro. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to stand in there. Come. <laughs> 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 And uh, if I'm going to let the other prisoners out, we need to make sure there's reasonably safe ground. I mean, they, they were defending themselves. It was it was nice to see that they were having a good a good try at uh, defending themselves against the guards. But uh, I'm sure they would be a lot safer if I cleared the way for them first. Because uh, bare hands against swords and arrows is not so... Amazing. No shiny pebbles? Really? You guys have not been collecting shiny pebbles in your basement? Okay. More exploded barrels. I wish we could pick them up and move them, but I guess there's other things I can pick up and move, so. Come 
Oh, I'm searching every nook and cranny. Okay, I'm not. It's not just an arbitrary collectible. I mean, it, it kind of is still. But there is a value and purpose to them now. So at least, uh, you know. At least. At least I don't feel quite so silly if I'm looking for them, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's plenty. map of this place, do we? Okay, we got this entrance and the keep before we get to the Great Library. I thought I wasn't so keen on revenge on this Lord Arbor, and if he hadn't sent that mob of people down to murder everyone in the inn, as well as me. It should be so much easier. I'd just be sneaking past these people instead of having to knock them all down and carry them to the dungeon. I mean, come on, man. Don't go all the way over there. I'm mean, gonna go there and, and hang out there, is he? steps as a temporary holding measure. Oh, I think I'm hearing somebody up on the wall up there. And there's windows up there I might be able to climb in. No, that looks like they've got uh, crossbars. Where he went. A taffer. Uh. Alright, well, I mean, that was less elegant than I like, but it worked. I'll take it. <sighs> Not really sure, like, he had something, but, uh. Gonna do the same thing, he might do the same thing. We'll have to see, shall we? It'd be funny to pull the same trick on two of them. Oh no, he knows I'm here. <laughs> oh wow! He really knows I'm here. How does he know that? I guess he saw me. You can't hide for long! Oh wow, he's good. Ouch. 
Ow. Alright, well, I'll take it. My clumsiness of not actually hitting him when his back is turned and he didn't yet know I was standing behind him. Uh, alright, 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 alright. Pro gout strats here. Only the froest of gout strats, right? Every, every drop of blood that bleed on the floor is really just there as a. You know, I, I'm doing it to prove how good a thief I am. That even leaving all this mess, that they still can't catch me. Right, it's not about not being seen, it's about being seen as much as possible. But still escaping with all the loot. Right? Oh, God, was... This chimney? Oh, wow! Lovely, absolutely lovely roofs there. Look at all those hammer beams. That is, uh... Beautiful. Oh, and a gold plate's only at the head of the table. Very, uh... Let's see. Oh, okay. That's the library there, I suppose. He's not going to notice me, is he? Maybe if I go into that patch of light. Okay, his back is turned. Let's continue exploring this floor. I've already made enough exceptions to allow you to perform experiments upon the hand, but I draw the line of reducing security. All four energy conduits must remain activated at all times when the hand is not physically in the care of you or your men. I expect these tests to be kept as brief as possible, to be fully supervised, and the hand to be returned to its pedestal with all four conduits activated as soon as the test is finished. If your men are complaining of the distance between switches, this is good. Or any possible thief would need to make a similar circuitous journey before they could safely grab the hand. Lord Arvin. Wow, I need these. I need these. I hope I get a good RNG from these. <laughs> okay, I got one. One. Damn. Hit point. Nice. Huh? Yeah, that's what I was going to say myself. Gotta stop. Hate it when doors step in front of me like that. Alright, well, I'm going to leave him here because I don't know a better place to put him, but, uh. Yes. Wow, uh, massive fancy chandelier for. Hallway. Is this where I came in? Right, I haven't been up there yet. And that's the front gate. Okay, so there's another guard who comes and goes up this corner. Anything in here? So I'm not finding any more shiny pebbles, and that makes me... That makes me a little concerned. It makes me think that most of them are down below, and I miss most of them, and then we'll have to... Go back to Creek, so I'm not quite empty handed, but less full handed than. That sounds bad. Uh, with a fewer shiny pebbles than, <laughs> than I would have hoped. Alright, you're close enough to take straight to uh, the uh, drop off point. Uh, 
see if this door open. I mean, I mean, I shouldn't leave it open in case anybody walking past wants to see anything, right? The other guy was not far down this way, right? Down the way. Not there. Drop him with the red. With the inn, it was a silly joke. Now it's a matter of honor and principle and bloody mindedness. Mostly bloody mindedness. Okay. Right, we saw this room from uh, outside. Okay, no. Wow, the boxes are moved, but their shadows remain. There's something deep and philosophical about that. Doesn't keep a pet shiny pebble by his bed. I might have to go give Creeks what we've got. I'm not going to go back and hunt across the entire map for more shiny pebbles. If I don't find any up here soon, that's kind of the way I'm going to take this. into things too quickly. This is an awesome room. Damn it, nicked. Why are you so good at making levels? Hmm. Halt, thief! I see you there! No, you don't. No! Ah. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to see you jump onto the edge, not onto. Well. All right, we got the archer. I haven't dealt with yet. Okay. Another guard, and I could have expected it, and I walked right into his face. I should have been more patient and careful. I was just admonishing someone else for rushing into every encounter. Sword first, because I went blackjack first, but it doesn't really make much difference in practice. Still, Garrett rushes in where angels fear to tread, I suppose. Where Hammond's face of tread. Literally, in this case. The question is, that guard coming through here, or am I just going to sit here looking even more foolish, watching an empty door? I shall use the power of quick save to find out. He definitely came through the door. I heard something. I opened it at the exact moment he came through. Well, okay. Problem. The, the problem did not de degenerate into a bigger problem, I guess. It's, it's not really problem solved. I could throw him off the 
edge here, but that would kill him, and I don't want him, to, I don't want him dead. I don't want the archer over there to see me either. I think he'll be fine. That's what I was wanting to do. I don't take damage from repeated small bumps like that, only from my big drops. At least throwing them down steps is relatively harmless. people gonna run to if I let them out so I feel like I still need to be a little, do a little more uh, cleaning up of guards here yeah. until I'm relatively short yeah, I'm gonna leave that open now nobody patrols out here okay so we've got the archer up there we know there's at least one more guard on the inside we have them going up and down the inner staircase but this will probably connect hello <sighs> I mean, if we wanted to high dive or get a look at the level so far, This is the guy we have. This seems to be the inner staircase. Uh. Maybe I should have taken down the inner staircase. Would have been quicker, I suppose. Oh well. Zombie noises. Might have been the wind. Just the wind, I guess. No, that's zombie noises. Oh! I'm out there somewhere. Angry zombie noises. That's. Does a zombie have the walls there? I thought that was further from the mines. Hang on, I might go check that out. Let's carry some of these guys down to the jail cells while we're at it, I suppose. I'm running out of room in this pile. Here that we were. Oh, I see, he comes all the way here. Right, 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 it's just, just this guy. Well, we've been here, right? That's the way we came out. Yeah, yeah okay. Alright, my, my curiosity is resolved. I just heard this guy grumbling as he came to the end of the. Uh, Place there. Are there any people up here, perhaps? One never knows. Right, we don't want to go up there. We want to come here. Carefully. Alright. Oh, 
Let's take a minute to relocate some of this pile of bodies. Spread all the uh, slow, tedious work out over multiple episodes, right? Even all gonna, I mean, we could put them all in different cells, I suppose. I mean, not necessarily all, all in different cells. Surely, even Lord Arvin will have something better to do with him. Now, the mages, I'm gonna try and leave alone. I'm not gonna try and care them all. This is specifically about Lord Arvin. I don't, I don't care about the mages one way or the other. Like, I mean, they're obviously between me and the thing I'm trying to steal. Also, I care about making sure. They're not too obstructive in that regard. But otherwise, I don't have any particular animosity towards them. Man, this, uh... Did I look behind this battle crates for shiny things? I think I did. Do these crates maybe have a whale in them? Or anything in them? Probably not, right? Faster. I guess I could uh, do this, right? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> well, we spooked one of the guys down in the cells. Well, that's alright, I'm not bothered by him. He can't get out and cause any trouble. For us or for himself. One more for this pile, and we'll be. And that'll be the down payment. Certainly down in the dungeon. Is this anything? No. Just decorated. Okay. Quick save so we don't have to repeat that nonsense have to repeat that nonsense, like I'm forced to do this. <laughs> Compelled by some, I don't know, tricks to guard maybe. Discovered in the ruins to the east of the Great Library. Provenance un unknown. It's got a skull on it, okay. Because I just thought of the door opening behind me, it's these doors being very. The eye of replica. It's a fake. Riddler's signet. Used to ratify the Concord of Batrav in 729. It's not even locked. Fingerbone of St. Kevil. Oh, that's valuable too. Alright. Shard of Tenega's Eye, liberated from the fortress of the lake. Well. He can have, you know what, let's... The fake eye on the altar, why not? Looks more impressive that way. A little gallery of... Valuables. All right, there is somebody up there. I do need. I do need to deal with that banner. Let's see why are these doors open. Here in this room. Okay, so there was somebody controlling it here. Oh, it was this archer. I see. Okay, there's another banner I have to deal with as well. Oh, oh somebody through there. Alright. 
come back for the banner. I know sport it was, a chase of that fellow with throwing veil wood. His freedom we promised him if he could but cross the river. But of course, we let him off in the wrong direction with naught but the shirt on his back. Tis a bottom lark most times, the fools wander a circle or freeze or stumble upon a bear or den of wolves before much sport can be had. Yet this one proved right, Kenny, and near vanished from us before we pick up his trail again. Makes it all the ways to the river bank did this one. I fair think he would have tried the swim and all, and mayhaps even he could have made it. But for the arrow I sent through his guts, ha <laughs> Best the master learn not of this one. His blessing be revoked ever so quick would he to learn of this near thing. Any more of his like, we shall have to hobble him first. That the spot shan't be hung off what it was yesterday. I will rip that guy, I guess. Yeah, there don't seem to be any shiny pebbles around. In this area. Uh, I do wonder if... If Krita is going to be, you know, if his reward is loot or if it's just equipment. I know, I mean, equipment has been plentiful, except, very notably, for healing. There's been rather a shortage of healing. He's bothered by it too, it seems. Right, before we go to the next floor, there's, uh,. More on this floor. No, oh, I was just in here. I'm, I'm. Rain. Okay. I mean, there's, there's, there's more on this level on the far side of the great hall, but. What's there? All right, nice love pack. Whoa. Whoa, not cool, man. I thought he was facing away. I couldn't see his face at all. He's around there somewhere. None of these seem Come on out, then. like the right tools. I mean, I might flash bomb him. I'm pretty lucky he didn't just instantly kill me with those fire arrows of his. <laughs> okay, so how am I going to deal with him? I don't know. Maybe I don't have to? Well, what's the pipe here for? I guess they've, they've uh, retrofitted this place. I mean, I can't get across these beams. I need at least two repair arrows. I'm gonna have to go up there somehow. Or, I mean, no, I could go down through the Great Hall. Maybe I should. Well, that room's a dead end. Is this the way out? You can, you can do that. You'll be fine there until we go to pick him up. Alright, so the Great Hall was... This one? Yes. Alright, did I go... Did I... Explore out here? I did. I did not go out these doors, though. Alright, that's the four elemental things that the mage is looking after. Alright, so we do this. See, this is, this is also the same place. Is it guards here or is it mages? That's a mage. Not, you 
a suitable position for that. And I don't think I can get it back from the window ledge here. Without killing myself. Let's let's reconsider my plan here. Oh, I can get it back. Okay. Uh, so we would need to be in there. Should be okay, reachable from here and being able to reach the the thing. <laughs> Here a guard. Right, get up on the ledge this time, please, Garrett. And not over it, thank you. Alright. Now I dealt with. There is another one somewhere, but. Very noisy floor. I wonder if the rail is as, as noisy. <laughs> oh, you he heard that. Calm down. Emperors of the Forgotten Southlands, K. Mishra. That's cool. Is that a drain hole or. <laughs> Both maybe. God, people are not throwing much in here, are they? Cheap skates. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, there's one on the other end as well. This is a... Somebody out here? Yes, well there's loot as well, there's writings and there's a... some kind of generator. I just had a really weird... Feeling when I was in this room that I got teleported, which doesn't seem to have happened. That's just like, excuse me. Oh, this is cool. We're in the suspended ceiling, which the lights are in. Bedroom. Oh, more arrows. There's a lot of arrows. This feels inclined to be sniping everybody. Should have brought more ropes, you know. It was, it was, I mean, we're getting good value out of the one we did bring, but. Carrots. Meredith and the Lusty Burrow. An unconventional romance by Derek Nobbins. Who's been reading this then? Found this sick filth, obviously.
Maybe I'll have more success with this carpet. Yeah. Flash bomb. Key. East door key. Captain Aurelius, I mislike that we do not guard the eastern entrance more closely. My dear late nephew thought to tolerate the men's superstition about the place, but this was a lamentable folly on his part. There is nothing to fear from the ruins themselves, for even the ghosts of its long-forgotten builders departed long ago. Yet if some brigands intent on usurping me should try the pass, they would found, find our eastern doors largely unguarded. I can assure you that in that event the next set of brigands to make the attempt would be put off by the sight of your mouldering head affixed above the door. See it done, Lord Robert Arben. Carrots. Well, you know what? Oh, no hit points from that, but uh, at least some. Um, oh, oh, at least uh, some nutritional value. Oh, he's got another book hidden here. The Madness of Geraldo by J. Fermage. Ah, that's that's uh. Fire mage, of course. Another, another thief mapper. Okay, watch out these ones. Oh shit. Who is this? Well, they're certainly not very healthy anymore. There's an essay on knowledge lost to time. Healing potion. Thank fuckery. Let's right, go before our friend comes back. And the bug, the bug clouds vanished. So I didn't want to be too close to them because I expected them to explode. Right. You, sir. I can probably just get back in here. Great there. Sleep here, let's try and be quiet. Jorbex key. Gahma. Of course it's just a lump of metal. Looking closely, one can even see where the mold lines were shaved down. It's a sculpture, nothing more. Don't believe the stories. They originate with Wilhelm of Shadmere, and if you've read any of his other works, you know he's as much a historian as I am a Hammerite priest. Wilhelm was writing for bored bone arist aristocracy and liked to make up grisly tales about his subjects, which he would then peddle as meticulously researched biographies. Only the very gullible would put any stock into his tales, like this fool Arben. Unfortunately, he's not such a fool as to be strung along forever. Just be ready when the time comes. He won't go down easily. Jobbeck. Oh. History of the Scholar's Hand, Wilhelm of Shadmere. I don't trust myself on this floor. <laughs> Let's just do this, this the easy way. I haven't had it much use for moss generally, so. Nothing on there? Okay. Come on, go. Grab the rope, thank you. Timing, he's just leaving us. Alright. <sighs> so, what is this thing? I guess that's one of the four levers I'm going to have to pull. An Analysis of Horror Vacui in Architectural Trends by S. Franks. Yeah, I didn't I didn't pay attention to the other book title I saw a while back. Oh he's got a key. Probably the key to his room. Go on, 
brother's key. History of Sir Elden by Sir Boros. Guess we should go downstairs while the opportunity has arisen. Oh, this is quiet. It is not such. Those don't seem to be doors. Okay. Where is that guard I'm hearing? That's the mage. The gaunt brother. I do you wonder if the uh, servant, I guess, lady will be uh, coming back down these stairs or through this archway? I'm not at all certain. Well, we have a dark corner here at any rate. I think she's there. Well, the game just kind of froze up for a fraction of a second there. Where were you coming from? I don't know, but your timing was not the best for me. Safe enough, say I right. Please don't see the body. Huh? Who knows what it was? Couldn't possibly have been a body. Mm -hmm. a little more out of the way. Tales from the Undercity by Keith Thack. Keith Thack. So I'm recognizing some of these names as, as references to other uh, FML says, but Keith Thack, I'm not sure who it's might be referring to. Okay, well, before we go into these rooms, now we've got the body where it needs to be. Let's try this. There was somebody in here, but... <coughs> we can maybe be sneaky enough. Notice, the practice of taking extra food from the kitchen between set mealtimes is forbidden. You are not animals, and you will not consume leftovers. An overfed servant is a lazy servant. The portions provided for serving staff are more than adequate for people of your station. Anyone caught taking extra food will be subject to ten lashes and will have all meals withheld for three days. Be it so ordered, Senior Lord Robert Arben. <laughs> I need some extra meals here. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be much in the way of leftovers, to be quite honest. Which I'm not super happy about. <laughs> That there, I saw something. No, no, don't, don't you worry about it. Hmm. 
Nothing there for me, just plates and shit. Pots and plates and... Okay. Built with a kitchen. there but she was not able to hear it. I guess it's good news for me. Travelers go to Lampport by Donnelly Shank. Who's that? Never mind. There's no one here. God. Lucinda, your eyes are like beautiful jewels. Too cliched. Your face is like a lighthouse at sea. You always light up my day. What? Your supple bosom reminds. Just no. I have a rich aunt in Blackbrook. Maybe we could. No, it sounds weird. Every moment I get to spend with you fills me with happiness. Not bad. Drop it on his bed. Nothing on top? No, where? Garrett, look before you step noisily outside someone's bedroom next time. Or even this time. Okay, this one is empty. Jeez! No hit points. Apple! Yay, apple! An apple a day keeps the death screen away. Empty. Healing potion, you know what? I'll bring that to you. There we go, it's much. Much better looking health bar. I don't have any money. Why did you come to me? Nobody here. I don't know what you're talking about. Why would there be anybody in here? Look, the door isn't even open. You imagined it, lady. I just saw the intro. Oh. So he just got spooked by her telling him about the intruder. While well, she's just carrying on about her business now. She's clearly uh, giving up as I thought. Well, you know what? This seems like a pretty random place to end the episode. So I will. Thanks for very much for watching. See you here shortly for the next one.